Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we we'll look at the Icon SBC, Luis Hernandez, Winter Wild Card. Looks like a really nice card. Got the 4-star weak for now. So he's 4-star, four 4-star four combination, 5 for 9. High medium work rates, high attack and medium defending. Looks like a really nice card. I love the fact that he's got the Traveller Plus playstyle. He's also got the first touch as well as aerial and power header traits. So they're really, really important playstyles this year. I think for somebody who's trying to cross the ball in, I think that'd be really, really nice. Now, one thing I love about Hernandez is that Traveller Plus playstyle. That is a no-brainer. That's going to make this card super usable. And you got to understand, like, these playstyles can make or break a card. You give somebody a playstyle plus on Traveller, Finesse, Trickster, something along them lines, I, I do think they, they become really, really good cards. Now, one thing I love about Hernandez is he's been a FIFA legend since FIFA 17 for me. So I love this guy to bits. I was going to do him anyway because this card is very usable. Not easy, very usable as a striker. He can be played in Cam, Lam or Ram as, as a winger as well. And I think he'd be an unbelievable super sub. Being so cheap and I think they tried to replicate the Payet SBC of last year. Because I remember Winter Wildcard Payet was a very good card and a lot of people did that card. It was very usable and very affordable. It was financially viable for many, many people who play the game. I think to myself, they've done that again with this Hernandez card. This is a really good card and I do think everybody should do it because the reason why is why is this card so good is because he's got the pace and the dribbling to be a fantastic, to be a fantastic winger. As you can see here, he not only scored, but he assisted as well. He's also really good at scoring headers. There's a lot this card can do that that, that that is very important this year. Now, I will admit he's not the strongest player. He's, he's not got the best strength. He's not got the best passing in the world. But like I said, pace, dribbling, shooting. And when it comes to play styles, he's got some nice play styles. And he can, he's versatile. You know, I think that's the important bit here. We're saying he's versatile. And also, he's got that FIFA nostalgia. He's got that beautiful blonde hair as well. El Matador Luis Hernandez has always been a lot of people's favourite. I, I think... I remember talking to my nephew Faraz. He was like, you know, in FIFA 17, it was a, it was one either getting him or Butragueno, and they, that's how good this card was in FIFA 17. It was really, really good. So he made his name in the early years of FIFA 17, 18, 19, 20. I think he was a really good card. I do think people stop using this card later on down the line. But look, like I said, look, a really nice card. You see what he's doing. He's getting the ball at the back of the net. His finishing's good as well. It's not class. He's not quite S tier, this card. This card is more A tier. And listen, I really like him. I really like I like his I like his price. I like the card. I like what he does. I like his vers how versatile he is. Really nice card. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.